So hello and welcome to the first lecture among a series of lectures to talk about the gallbladder. Okay, so I will start with the surface anatomy of the gallbladder in this video. Let's just uh, define the structures that an alphabet takes for the gallbladder. Okay, starting from A. A is what we call the right hepatic duct, the right hepatic duct. B is the left hepatic duct. And C is the merge of the right and the left hepatic duct, which is the common hepatic duct. Common hepatic duct. And please focus on the word common hepatic duct because in a while we'll be talking about the H, which is the common bile duct. Common bile duct. The common bile duct is the result of the combination of the C and the I. The common hepatic duct and the cystic duct. So when the common hepatic duct and cystic duct combines, they form the common bile duct, the common bile duct. So the right and the left, right and the left common uh, hepatic duct, the common hepatic duct, the cystic duct, and the common bile duct. Okay, so A, B, C. D is the vein that uh, have the most important blood supply to the liver, which is the portal vein, the portal vein that comes from the intestine, okay? E is the hepatic, hepatic artery, okay? So E is the hepatic artery, which has some uh, branches, the right and the left hepatic arteries, okay? So this is E. F, F is, this is the Hep the, the hepatic artery, okay? It uh, gives what we call the gastroduodenal artery. Gastroduodenal artery. As you can see here, this gastroduodenal artery gives uh, blood supply to the uh, stomach and to uh, the uh, duodenum. So the stomach through the short gastric arteries, which is G, and to the duodenum with the duodenal artery. Uh, N. So F is the gas to duodenal artery which comes from the hepatic artery. Okay, so A, B, C, uh, right hepatic, left hepatic, common hepatic, cystic duct, I, and the common bile duct, cystic and hepatic duct. Okay, the, uh, the he uh, hepatic, uh, right hepatic artery, gas to, uh, uh, sorry, the hepatic artery, the gastroduodenal artery, the short gastric artery, and the uh, duodenal artery. Okay, so uh, I now let's get into just uh, the structures of the gallbladder. I is the fundus, the top, the head of the gallbladder, which is I structure here. Okay, and in this structure we have most of the smooth muscles of the gallbladder. Okay, in contrast to J, which is the body of the gallbladder. The body of the gallbladder is the main site to store the bile. So it has an elastic tissue so that it can extend to compensate the amount of the bile we have in the gallbladder. Okay, I is the uh, structure where we have the smooth muscles of the gallbladder, where the gallbladder contracts to uh, ejaculate the bile into the cystic duct okay so this is the fundus this is the body of the gallbladder this is the infundibulum the k is the infundibulum of the gallbladder okay uh, and actually the infundibulum and the neck of the gallbladder are the most uh, let's say uh, interior parts of the gallbladder most the deepest parts of the gallbladder okay so we have here uh, as a continuity of the infundibular of the gallbladder, we have some convexity, okay? And this convexity forms what we call the Hartman pouch. This is the Hartman pouch of the gallbladder, okay? So something important is that when you continue the line between the gallbladder and the inferior vena cava here, we have the inferior vena cava, some, some, some side, just uh, be a uh, uh, back flavor, okay? 
we have that line that divides the liver into right and left uh, hepatic loops okay so this is just uh, an easy outline about the surface anatomy of the gallbladder and the surrounding structures okay in the next video we will be talking in more details thank you very much for watching